Hello everyone. So another update here on the incident at Machalisky Air Base in Belarus. This was the one where an A-50U AWACS aircraft was claimed damaged. Well, the video playing now shows the incident in question, and it's a bit of an anti-climax. As the video shows, there was no attack on the base. The drone merely approached the A-50 and then landed on its radome. Ukrainian drone operators must be furious at a missed opportunity here and the Russians must be furious at the lack of security. This is an airbase containing operational aircraft used in the war in Ukraine. Aircraft operated by Russia, and the A-50s case available in few numbers. Russia only has around 9 of these operational, not to mention they cost between $250 million up. And yet, somebody managed to fly a drone around and even land it on the A-50s radome, that's an embarrassing lack of security. But imagine if it was armed. Now this was clearly not flew by Ukrainians. I hesitate to say it was even flew by Belarusian partisans, as the drone seemed to serve little purpose other than to humiliate the Belarusian and Russian armed forces. But then again, maybe that was enough for the partisans. It was quite humiliating. I wouldn't say it served a reconnaissance purpose either, as the layout of this base and the position of aircraft is freely available on satellite imagery. This is looking like it could have just been a regular civilian basically having a bit of fun here. But imagine if Ukraine or partisans did have the means to drone attack this airbase and this A-50U. A dozen FPV drones fitted with grenades would have wiped out most of this base. Again, a shocking example of poor security. And bear in mind, this is the same Belarus that Putin is desperate for help from. Things must clearly be bad if you're asking for help from the same armed forces that let a drone land on an AWACS aircraft's radome. Then again, we can't say that Russia is a leading example of tight security. Remember a few months ago, they had someone sneak onto one of their bases and actually blow up a couple of Car 52s. So, not much else to discuss here. There was no attack, but it's still a very interesting video. I expect Ludashenko will be getting a good old rollicking from Putin, because this could easily have been disastrous for them, and even more hilarious for us. Thanks for watching. If you found the video interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.